it's time to start our final mash network but just to let you know i've gone through and hidden a couple of our fall off nodes here just to make our viewport a bit tidier for the mash network of the smaller buildings we do need to create a piece of new geometry which we can use as a base for generating and placing our buildings to do this let's move to the polygon shelf and create a new plane in our channel box let's input polyplane 3 or width at 5 5 subdivisions 3 and 3 there we go i'm going to duplicate this using control d seven times one one two three four five six seven and i'm just going to move these in e into each of the respective city blocks making sure my grid snap is on just w key there we go just going to shift select these and come to our mesh menu and combine and again just to get rid of these small little groups here edit delete by type history there we go i'm just going to rename this small building generator and we are good to go oh there's just one thing i need to do which is under here switch to face and oh, making sure let's just hide our infill repo mesh so that's control h with their small building generator switch that to face and let's just select these six faces and delete and that's great from our building geometry group let's command select building 01 building 02 triangle building and building 04 and create a mash network move to the mash shelf create mash network in our distribute node let's just change our distribution type to mesh and we do need to connect to mesh so we can do this by selecting our small building generator back in the distribute node and connect and there we go we need to change our method to face center and let's just press flood mesh and this places an instance in the center of each polygon face so there we go of course we're only seeing one object and we know how to fix this by adding an id node which always selects the correct number of ids for the number of ge geometry pieces that we put in so here we can see our ID count is set to four and we have them distributed. What we can see, however, is that our pivots are off. Um, rather than having to worry about this and going back into our geometry, there is an easier way to fix this, which is I am going to select my three buildings which are causing me issues, which are those three buildings. And I'm going to create a group for each. So Control G, Control G, Control G and just name this BG01G. That should have the building one in it, yep. Do the same, BG02G and BG04G. Now we just need to go into our repro node of our MASH network and, oh, we should have renamed this as well, MASH5 buildings. Let's just change this quickly. So although we can access a repro node really quickly, by pressing this little icon here and we can get rid of our building one two and three and delete that unfortunately if i was to select these command 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 press on this icon i lose my selection so unfortunately i need to go bg select my groups into the building attribute editor into the repro node and add selected objects now, while that's fixed our building group four, um, we can still see that our buildings one and two are slightly out, but that's not a problem. We can just go into our building one group and in our building one channel box attributes, let's just translate to Y and that fixes that. And we'll just do the same for building two, translate Y. And there we go. Everything is now nice and aligned. 
let's just hide our small building generator because we don't need it anymore. So that's select and control H and let's bring back up our repro mesh. So that is shift H to view it. Now that we have all our buildings aligned, they all look a bit similar. Let's randomize them. The first way to do this is in the mash ID buildings node, switch our ID type to random. And let's adjust the random seed to a level where we get a good distribution of buildings. They are quite like, uh, no, maybe too many. The triangle buildings in particular do need to be reorientated. So let's add an offset node and switch our rotation to 180. And let's go to the strength dropdown, reduce the step strength to 0.2. We can adjust the height of all the buildings to give them a bit more life by adding a random node. Let's zero out all the position values and just adjust our scale 2.5. The issue with increasing the random scale is that it increases the heights of all the buildings. To counter this, let's add another offset node. Set the scale to minus 0.5 in Y. That's better. In fact, I think we'll just increase our random height again to one. There we go. Yeah, that's great. So we don't get confused, let's rename the offset nodes we have added. And we're going to call this first one offset orient and the second one height fix. Final thing we need to do is animate the buildings popping into the scene. We need to add a final offset node. So let's just add that. And again, let's create a fall off. Let's move it to the center of our scene. We just need to make sure our offset set scale is set to zero. And let's scale using the channel box. Their offset selected, scale, middle mouse button. There we go. And let's make sure all our buildings are hidden. Let's move our timeline to frame 45. Right click again and key selected. And let's move to frame 70, middle mouse button again to reduce down to zero. There we go. And I right click again and key selected. Okay, so there we go, our buildings. And, and again, just to Give a bit of pop, literally. Let's just add a spring node. 